What's going on guys? It's Jess and Luke from Catch You Down the Trail and today we're going to give you a van tour. This is our 2017 Pro Master City. Uh, we bought it with about 55,000 miles on it. Um, so we chose a small van for a couple of reasons. Um, we are full-time travelers, but to supplement our income, we do seasonal jobs. So when we are doing those seasonal jobs, we do have housing provided to us. So we are not in the van during those times and we use it as our everyday vehicle. Yeah, and we built this thing in late 2021. Uh, we spent like just over a thousand dollars and it took us three months total to do it, but it was about like a month worth of work we took a lot of breaks <laughs> yeah. um so it was exactly one thousand thirty eight dollars seventy five cents i kept track of everything um we did receive a few things as gifts like our jackery and our cooler and then we already had the rocket box on top of the van so if you do to add those just make sure you know that's going to be like maybe seven hundred dollars extra on your budget all right let's get to it all right, so starting with the front of our van, we have our cooler here. It's an Arctic cooler, it's 20 liters. Um, we chose a cooler over a fridge because we don't have the power hookup. And then we're also plant-based. So a lot of our food is like canned or dried beans. So our things don't go bad as quickly. Um, in terms of what we use for water, we just fill up these water jugs. Um, we have about three that we use in circulation. Um, and then up here, if you move this seat forward, we have storage underneath where I can sit my shoes and then we have an emergency bag underneath the seat itself. And then if you go back underneath the floor, we have all of our tools just in case something breaks in the van. So right here we have our overhead storage. Uh, we just call it the attic. Just a little extra storage that we built onto the existing um, area up here. And um, basically I just ribbed it into the uh, roof up here. But all we do is keep like books, shoes, uh, day packs, just toiletries, stuff like that up there. So it just adds a little extra space that would otherwise have been wasted. All right, now we're gonna move to the side of our cabinet. Um, we have a remote here for our lights. They are magnetized and battery chargeable. So um, we just plug them in to recharge them. We didn't have to hook up solar or electric in here, which saved us a lot of money and time. Um, we also use these magnets, magnetic hooks for everything. They're very useful to hang things up. Um, we got a small mirror here just to check ourselves before we head out into the world. We got a small table, which is really nice at night when I'm sleeping. I can sit my glasses here or a water bottle. Other than that, we've got our carbon monoxide detector. You want to stay safe out there, folks. And then a small broom. All right, and then the front of our cabinet, we have some Polaroid photos, some postcards of places where we've been, and then our US map. Our criteria for crossing a state off of our map is that we had to have been there together, both Luke and I, and then we have to have done something of substance worth talking about. So this right here is our cabinet. Uh, we custom built it uh, just using plywood and two by fours and then some like cabinet uh, wood. Uh, so we basically just have storage here. We have kitchen equipment down here. It's kind of a mess, but um, We also keep our chairs down here slingshots for intruders um, And then we created like a little table here. So this top shelf is held in by this table and It's just two latch hooks that come down some chains and that's just extra storage. So we put food um, our grill that may or may not work and then uh, yeah now we have access up here so we can always pull the battery out and recharge it all right so now to the bed the couch bed we chose to have a slap bed because we didn't want to fill the whole space with the bed we wanted a place to sit and relax and just be able to work at the desk cook here um, in this bag here we have our sleeping bag we just wanted it to match the core but it's a two-person 20 degree bag it works great for us underneath the couch we have storage so this is where we keep all of our clothes we put them in these packing cubes i have three bags and luke has two and then behind the couch is where we keep our pillows and then we keep extra things like our rain gear and our puffy jackets back here this is what the bed looks like when it's made out uh just for reference i'm 5'9 and luke is also 5'9 and <laughs> and we fit in here perfectly. It's a little bit smaller than a full-size bed, but bigger than a twin. 
and this is what it looks like when we're in here. One. So for the ceiling, we just used a single piece of beadboard and cut it to shape. And right here, we got our max air fan. We have this connected to our battery and you can just pull and start this from here. Um, the walls here, we just put a piece of fabric because we put a lot of thin it down and we just put fabric over that to make it look, um, I guess, more stylish and add to the name of the van, which is Fern. <laughs> All right, so these are our back doors. We had extra beadboard left over from the ceiling that we put on this door. And then my mom got us these nice pictures from our travels. Um, this is our only way in and out of the back of the van unless we want to climb to the front. So we have a nice little door handle here. Doesn't look the greatest, but it functions. Um, we also built a small table with these click locks. Um, so we can cook out here if we wanted to or just have a place to set things. Um, it pops down nice and easy. Over here, I used a shoe rack that you would put on the back of the door. We just had it sitting around the house. Um, I saw this is like a camper hack, um, but we have all kinds of things stored in here, like chargers, some rope, glue, bags, uh, our jet boil, extra propane. All right, and uh, so this is the back of our bed. This is just like a little garage space. It's a table that a couple of my buddies got, Andy and Jason. Thank you, buddies. <laughs> um, and then just other access to the back here. We got our solar panel here, uh, another pocket here, place to hang hats, etc. So up top we have the rocket box. The cooler doubles as a step stool, which is nice. And then in here is where we store all of our backpacking gear, extra bedding for when we have our seasonal jobs and then just things that we're not accessing all the time. All right, everybody, that's it for our van tour. Um, and if y'all got any questions about um, how we built anything or how we designed it, you can always just shoot us uh, something down in the comments or hit us up on Instagram. All right, until then, we'll catch you guys down the trail. Peace, guys.